Hello my freaky darlings! Good to see you again. I decided that I'd like to do a tag video again. It's been a little while since I did one. Um, Dahlia Drastic uh, did a tag video, the Scottish version of the accent challenge, so that's what I'm doing today. Um, so there's a bunch of words that you have to say with your accent and I guess I'll just get into it. And I might um, throw in some slang words too. So, the first word is aunt, then roof, route, wash, oil, theatre, iron, salmon, caramel, fire, water, shore, data, ruin, crayon, New Orleans, Pecan, both, again, <laughs> there's a lot of these, uh, probably, spitting image, Alabama, lawyer, coupon, mayonnaise, syrup, pajamas, court, naturally, aluminium, and envelope. I actually say envelope because I'm weird, but most Kiwis, Kiwis, I can't even say my own blooming nationality, uh, most Kiwis say envelope, I say envelope. Uh, I've been around a lot of Australians and Europeans in my life and um, lived in different countries, so I've actually picked up a lot of accents from, well, all over the place and they tend to rub off on me, like I'll be watching an English or a Scots um, sort of movie or something and then all night long I have a taint to my accent and when we lived in Australia for 12 years uh, I, was, I sounded exactly like I came from Australia. So um, <laughs> if I said that when I was living over there it would be something to the effect of um, I lived in Australia for 12 years and when I lived there um, yeah I picked up their accent and it just kind of rubbed off on me and <laughs> <laughs> but now I'm back in New Zealand and I have to talk normal otherwise everyone thinks I'm crazy or I'm just not a local and I am so it's kind of amusing I also tend to say data um, because of Star Trek <laughs> so saying data just seems wrong to me these days um, even though it's the Kiwi way there are questions underneath it says what is it called when you throw toilet paper on a house um, I used to just call that being an asshole or vandalism, but I've since found out that in America it's called TPing, and I really have no idea why they called it TPing because I know it's like T and P um, for toilet paper, but it makes me think of like a teepee, like a Native American Indian would have lived in um, all those years ago. <laughs> So yeah, it's kind of weird being called TPing. Okay, number two, <laughs> moving along. What is the bug that when you touch it, it curls into a ball? Um, I don't know. We've got a few that do that. Uh, maybe a centipede or a slater. Um, maybe an earwig. If, if you touch an earwig, they tend to not like it either and they curl up. Oh, I don't know. Uh, next question, what is the bubbly carbonated drink called? Uh, we just call it fizzy drink, um, otherwise, yeah, the name or the brand like Fanta, Coke, Pepsi, um, whatever. The next one, what do you call gym shoes? Um, I'm so used to hearing people call them trainers and when I was in Australia I got used to saying that too and I watch a lot of Americans on YouTube so uh, I get used to that but prior all the taints getting into my Kiwi ways I used to just call them sports shoes and yeah I guess that's, that's generally what Kiwis would call them I think is just sports shoes uh, number five what do you say to address a group of people formally it would be um, hello ladies and gentlemen um, Usually I just say, hey all, <laughs> hey everyone, <laughs> listen up, attention, <laughs> I don't know. Um, number six, what do you call the kind of spider or spider-like creature that has an oval-shaped body and extremely long legs? Well, it's not a spider, 
which I only found out about a month or so ago. <laughs> It's called a daddy long legs. It always has been a daddy long legs and when I was a really little girl I used to be really afraid of them, but uh, after living in Fiji in Australia and seeing spiders like the size of your head um, <laughs> Daddy long legs are just cute to me and I call all spiders Hermie because I used to have a little pet spider that I named Hermie so every time I see a daddy long legs or any spider really I call it Hermie. So spiders are all Hermes. They're Hermes. Um, <laughs> number seven, what do you call your grandparents? Well, a few of them have passed on, uh, but I had a nana and I had a grandpa. He died when I was still a really little baby and I never actually remember meeting him. Uh, I have a, a grandma, a great grandma. She's still alive, she's 94, wow and uh, granddad yeah that's all of them I think yeah that's it um, number eight what's this one what do you call the wheeled contraption in which you carry groceries at the supermarket it's a supermarket trolley what else would it be I know when you go on a website it's a shopping cart <laughs> and that took some use yeah, you know, took some time to get used to. Blah, fumbling my words. But yeah, it's it's a it's a supermarket trolley. Um, what do you call it when rain falls while the sun is shining? That's a sun shower, and that's when you get rainbows, which is really cool because they shine out your ass when you're a unicorn and you can make ice creams and feed children with rainbow poop. But moving on, number 10, what is the thing you change the TV channel with? Well, lately that's been my husband's phone because he's got an app where you can just, you know, do shit on it. But um, it's a remote. Um, yeah, I don't know what else you meant to call it. I've seen that movie Click, so maybe it's a Click thing. And I think, do you American people, do you call it a Clicker? I don't know, it's, it's a remote, <laughs> that's what it is. Now, going through this list, um, there's not a lot of slang words that I would use instead of these words like pajamas, I'd call them jammies. Um, or what else? Or oh, I don't know. Lawyer, generally thieving bastard. <laughs> um, Aluminium, I usually call tin foil um, because it's tin and it's foil. It's not tin, it's aluminium, but you know, it's called tin foil. Um, what else? No, everything else is pretty much the way I said it. There seems to be debate in New Zealand whether it's route or root, but I just can't say root with a straight face because it sounds like you're having sex with someone. Um, what route do you like or which route would you prefer and I, I guess I got a dirty mind or something but it's a route <laughs> um, yeah roof aunt or auntie um, yeah I don't know apart from the spiders all being hermy um, fizzy drinks sometimes well if it's champagne I call it bubbly or sparkling wine bubbly um, yeah, no, that's, that's about it, really. Uh, oh, my son calls his grandmother, uh, Granny, and she prefers to be called Grandnan, because she thinks Granny sounds too old, which I think is kind of cute. But, um, yeah, I think she's like, I don't know, 66, 65, somewhere in there, so she's not that old. Well. I guess it's a matter of perspective. <laughs> um, yeah, supermarket trolleys. I actually like our supermarket trolleys because the back wheels are locked and they don't like have a mind of their own. You can actually steer them where you want them to go and if you push it, it's not gonna like fly off into the nether world. Um, it just goes straight where you want it. Only the front wheels turn. <laughs> and I noticed that when I moved to Australia and I've heard that it's the same in America, 
the wheels like all of them turn around and it's just a nightmare and the same like in Australia I used to turn the trolley like diagonal and just push it kind of weird up the aisle because it's the only way I could get it to go straight and we used to um, stick the kids in when they were little um, child endangerment warning disclaimer <laughs> we used to spin it and it would just spin down the aisle and it was really cool um, they loved it no one got hurt um, yeah but that's it um, sorry about my stupid unicorn jokes for those of you that love unicorns but every time I think unicorn I think of that stupid ad that was um, I don't know what it was advertising actually <laughs> I can't remember but it had a unicorn and it was like a ice cream dispenser spent dispensing uh, rainbow ice cream and it looked like he was pooping rainbows and that was just so funny so anyway that's it uh, I'll leave it there there's not much more I can say about uh, the accent tag from this Kiwi goth girl but uh, well goodbye my freaky darlings and uh, have fun in the shadows. Bye! <laughs> Try that again! <laughs> the chair broke! <laughs> Oh my god, oh shit. Yeah, you all come back now, you hear? <laughs> oh, that sucks.